This is the Jocko Underground Podcast. This is number 105, sitting here with Echo Charles. I just had a expanded edition of my book, Leadership Strategy and Tactics, come out. just came out. And one of the things I added into it was this section on decision-making, and I gave a list of things to consider when you are making a decision. Like, pretty straightforward. These are the things you need to think about, and it's... I set it up, it's sort of like a loop. It's what I think about when I have to make a decision. Things like how much time I have, the laws of combat, leadership, your ego, your emotions, the the strat, the strategic and tactical mission objectives, these kind of things to consider. And I explain, of course, in the book why they're important, how you manage them. I talk about like questions to ask yourself that will make sure that you're thinking about these topics from an objective position. But at the end of this list, I make two very important points about what you need to do to utilize this loop, but really it's beyond that. It's things that there's two things that you need to that we need to kind of always do. These are like underlying principles that if you can adapt these to not just decision making, yes, but just life in general, it's gonna help you out in in a lot of different ways. The first one, you've probably heard, you've definitely heard me say before, you have to be detached, right? When you're in a problem, you can't see anything, you definitely can't see the solution. The other thing when you're not detached is you can't even see the impact of the decisions that you're making, right? Because you're in it, so you make a decision to change something, but you can't, re- Oftentimes you can't really see the change from inside where you're at. You have to be away. Look, you have to step back to look at it. You know, if you were steering a, a boat out in the open ocean, mm. when you're in the boat and you change course, you can't really tell that you changed course, right? Because nothing really everything looks kind of the same inside the boat. You gotta get up at altitude to see where you've where where you've shifted your course. Mm. So you can't really see the changes that happen or when there's subtle changes that are happening. This is something that we talked about last week too. Subtle changes build up over time, but if you're not detached, you don't notice them. You know, when you had like the buddy that you didn't see for three months and they started lifting or they stopped lifting, they started getting on that pizza and beer diet. If if you were with them the whole time, you wouldn't notice that they put on 28 pounds of fat, mm. right? Mm. Maybe you'd like, but you wouldn't notice it yeah. the same way. If you didn't see them for three months and then they just show up and they're gaining 28 pounds of fat, pizza and beer, mm. you, you're like, bro, what's going on, man? Mm. You okay? So if you're not <coughs> detached from it, you can't see it. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. In life, in life, take a step back. And the other thing is, You've got to keep an open mind about things. And this is just so critical. It's critical for decision making and it's critical for life to keep your mind open. And an open mind is counterintuitive. Nature wants you to close your mind. The world wants you to close your mind. Uh, Survival instincts want you to close your mind. Because other ideas are threatening to us. The way they come at us, right? They threaten our what, what we believe. Like you, you got your little beliefs that you have, right? Mm. You know how you know how you uh, the algorithm is set up for you on on Instagram or on YouTube to show you what you already believe in. Yeah, because that's what you like as a human. That's what I like as a human. I want to watch something that says jujitsu is really good, mm-hmm. right? People that are vegetarians get fed vegetarian information. People that are carnivores get fed carnivore information. Yeah. The The carnivore diet guy doesn't s- just pop into the vegan's diet algorithm. No. Right? Why? Because it threatens what they believe in. Mm. And they don't like that. So they just don't even click it. So YouTube knows that and sends you a nice another vegan video. Yeah. And you're like, see? <laughs> Or if you're a carnivore, you're like, she. <laughs> so, yeah. so you gotta, you, you gotta accept the fact 
that when you open your mind, your very beliefs are going to be challenged. And that shouldn't be seen as negative. That should be seen as positive. That should be a good thing. Uh, it also changes our, or it challenges our reality. Right? Because what you believe goes hand in hand with what your reality is, kind of. Mm-hmm. So when you believe something, and then I disrupt that, but then I also disrupt the reality that you live in. You know, like what happened with jujitsu and karate? Yep. You know, back yeah. in the day, mm-hmm. these dudes literally thought they could kick anybody's ass because they've been studying karate yeah. for 22, seven years, 22 years. Mm-hmm. And they were a black belt with the, str- with the degrees on it, right? Yeah, hell yeah. They were fourth Don black belt, right? Sure. Well, they were just a black yeah. belt, though. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, a literal blue belt in jujitsu come and just roll them up, man. Just choke them out, no factor. And then they go again, no factor. Yeah. Their whole reality got challenged. So the good people opened their minds and were like, yo, I need to learn this. The people that had closed minds would say things like, well, you know, in a street fight, I would have poked your dim mock eyeball or what. You know, they just had their little lot lies that they told themselves. Yeah. And they just closed their mind, like, didn't train that. We don't train ground fighting. Ground. You wouldn't want to be in a ground fight in a street fight. Right? right? Yep. That's the, one of the craziest things ever. Yeah. No, why would you want to go to the ground in a street fight? No, you wouldn't want to go to the ground in a street fight. Of course you wouldn't. Right. If you go there, though, doesn't yeah. know what to do. So their whole reality was challenged, and people don't like that. Some people opened their mind and said, yep, this is a new reality. I need to learn it. Some people said, nope, uh, that stuff doesn't work. It's not good to go. What about multiple attackers? Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> so... It challenges that as well. Um, it also, obviously, both those things are tied into your ego. <clears throat> so your ego wants to have a closed mind. Your ego doesn't want to hear any new ideas. It's just shut down, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't want to hear about what you eat because like, I know what I eat and what I eat is better. I don't want to hear your workout program. I don't want to hear about your martial arts experience. I don't want to hear about the new tactics that you develop. I don't want to hear about what you believe in. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to hear any of that because mm-hmm. I already know everything. So. All these things that we're trying to protect just cl- just closes our minds for us. So that's why I say we all have an instinct to close our minds. But the world around you, if you keep your mind closed, the world around you changes. And over time, you won't be connected to reality anymore, right? Mm-hmm. We aren't, if you don't open your mind, you're not putting all the variables into the calculus that you're using to make decisions about your life. You are in a vacuum when you have a closed mind. So we just have to be careful. And these are the two elements. And, and really in the, in the book, I just talk about the elements as tools for decision making. But I just want to let everyone know it's tools for life. It's tools to constantly detach and keep an open mind. Let the counter arguments in. Welcome the opposing point of view. Ask yourself questions. Where can I be wrong? What am I not seeing? How can I see more? Open your mind. You have to pry your brain open. You have to pry it open. It's like, it's, it's, it's labor to pry your brain open and say, yep, you know what? That, that makes sense. I didn't understand that. I didn't know that perspective. I didn't, I didn't, see what you're seeing. So if you do that, you can understand the world better and you can navigate the problems, the issues, and the decisions that you have to make in a faster and more effective way. <coughs> so there you go, for your mind. A lot of times we are, you know, you say our reality, our beliefs, mm-hmm. or all that, They we, maybe subconscious, maybe even consciously attach it to our identity, mm-hmm. you know, like it, you know, so oh, whether yeah. it be martial arts, political diet, like oh, the yeah. whole thing yeah. is, is kind of attached to our identity. Yeah, I, you, I didn't even bring up like the political thing, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's everything. Yeah. I mean, the poli- uh, like, a lot of times it, we feel like, oh yeah, the political thing is like one of the, the super hot button things or whatever, but it, bro, it's kind of everything, bro. I mean, it depends on who you're talking oh, yeah. to, you you're know? You're saying it's kind of everything, it's everything in your life, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. You're not it saying really politics is. is everything, you're just saying right. like, hey, I got my diet. 
Right. I got my workout program. Hey, is it? Wait a second. Is this just us? <laughs> what, do, what do normal people talk about? Well, you know what normal people talk about? Like sports and stuff? Yeah. They'll sports. be like, no, the Chicago Bulls in 19, whatever. They were definitely, you know what I mean? Yeah. People get in heated arguments about, about this kind of stuff, too. Yeah, I could see it. It's their but belief from, system. From what I understand, because I mean, sports is kind of hard. Then again, I don't know. I'm not deep in the sports fan mm-hmm. game. But, you know, sports is kind of hard to defend. Look, if you're a Detroit Lions fan. Dude, which, what about Ford versus Chevy, though? Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you get that kind of stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. Or or certain guns or certain yeah. you know tactics is a bit, but it, again it's like a it's a lot of stuff. It's like kind of the well okay. So the hot button topics like for everyone from what I understand, yeah. politics, is politics, diet, um, how to raise kids and religion. Oh, so, how to raise kids, good one. Yeah, so that's you know because there's so and when you think about it. When you look at them all, there's like so many mm. effective methods of all those, yeah, you know, yeah. like but think about is, it. But mine is the best. Mine is the best. <laughs> and if you say yours is the best, that means mine's not the best. Now yeah. I'm wrong. No, no, yeah. I'm a different person than I thought I was because, you know, and a lot of times we dedicate like a certain amount of our brain power to these things. Like mm-hmm. consider <laughs> like um like diet. It's literally how you freaking sustain yourself, fuel the right? System. How you yeah. fuel your system. You only got one life, one body, whatever That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to JockoUnderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us so thank you it's jockounderground.com it costs eight dollars and 18 cents a month and if you can't afford to support us we can still support you just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of until then we will see you mobilized underground